Hey guys, I'm Sahil from Kronos Tech and this is the benchmarking video of Micromax's Uber smartphone, the Micromax U Eureka. In this video, I'll be doing an intensive benchmarking session with apps like Antutu Benchmark, Geekbench, Quadrant Standard, GPU Bench, GFX Bench and Antutu X Benchmarking app. To keep the video a little short, I've mainly focused on the important parts in the benchmarks, generally the graphic tests. So the first app that we're going to review is Antutu Benchmark. Let's go ahead and start the app and start the benchmarking process. Now as I said I have skipped through some parts of the video so you might think the whole thing is going fast but it's actually not. It's taking as much time as it should and I've just kept the benchmark to the important parts so, so the real result will be revealed at last. You can see it's a bit laggy I don't know why. As you can see, the score is 26,815. That's the score that we got on our device. The multitask score is 4089. The runtime score is 1547. CPU integer 2650. Float point 2423. So this is pretty much pretty good score. The 2D graphics score is 1512, and the 3D score is 5382. Now the next app that we want to test is Geekbench 3. So let's start it and see. As you can see, the single core score is 513 and the multi core score is 1623. That's pretty good for a phone of this budget. Let's have a detailed look at more scores. The single core integer score is 714 and the multi core score is 2462. And let's check out more of this stuff. So, 513 is our score and it's pretty good. It's not that bad at all, in fact. The device score is pretty much near the Asus Nexus 7, so this proves that the device is really a good contender. Yeah, so this is the multi-core comparison. Our device got 1623 score. The Nexus 7 got 1832. Tablet Z got 1589. Nexus 4 got 1854. So this is a pretty good score. Let's let's test the GPU bench application. I'm just gonna run the benchmark. Yeah, so the score is 14,825 points and the screen resolution score is 13,663 points. The lowest frames per second is 11 and the highest is 90.83 with an average of 41 frames per second. That's pretty much good but it's not that good and as you can see the display quality is not as good. Now let's run the quadrant standard full benchmark. There's only one thing about this phone that really bugs me. It's that the color reproduction on this phone is not that good as it is on other phones. I tried the Asus Zenfone 5 and it had a better color reproduction than this phone. But that's fine, doesn't matter. Now the device score is 16,142, it scores a lot more score than the HTC One X. Let's see the detailed score, it's 16142 total, the CPU has scored 64,646, memory has scored 5104, the data read write has scored 8337, 2D has a score of 463, 3D score of 2158, so it's pretty good. Let's try out the n 2 X benchmark. Now there's not much difference between the Antutu X and the Antutu Benchmark, they are almost same but the Antutu X is like a newer variant and it's and it's only a little bit different as you can see. This part of the video is laggy on both the tests, both on Antutu Benchmark and the Antutu X Benchmark.
Yeah, so it scored 17,060 and a Molira score of 2635, runtime score of 1123. That's a really good score. This is the graphics bench and this is one of the longest benchmarking tests and it will take a lot of time. Now this test comprises of like 30 to 50 tests and it will keep going on until your phone's battery eventually dies. No, it won't. I'm just kidding. I really like this test. It has a lot of tests and especially the overhead GPU reading buffer sizes and all that stuff. So I think this is the only test that actually tests the phone to its limits. So here are the test results, the Manhattan one got 217.7 with an average of 3.5 frames per second which is pretty low, yeah. And the Full HD Manhattan off screen test got a score of 112.2 with an average of 1.8 frames per second which is devastatingly low. We can even go inside these scores and see which place our device stands at, so let's try that. As we can see, the device scores, it's got 271 frames and the app Live Air 2 has 3941 frames, that's a lot. Even the Google Nexus 9 scored a lot of, no, it does not show you the comparison. So that's pretty much it. And there's one more app, there's this last app, it's called the Billion Counter. Now, this is one of my favorite apps, although this does not really test anything good, but yeah. What it does, it, it makes your phone count to 1 billion or 1 million, or you can even set the counter to custom number as you want as you can see the time is 25.927 seconds and on 1 million it scores 0.02 seconds at an average so this is all guys if you want me to do any more stuff related to the micromax you eureka just leave it in the comment section below and i'll make sure that i try to make a video on that and if there is anything that you might want to ask then you can leave it in the comment section below too and suggestions and advices are always welcome so just leave them in the comment section below and i'll read them if you like the video give it a thumbs up follow me on twitter and don't forget to subscribe to my channel this is chronostex signing out thank you